Prepare yourselves for a polybridge journey. Only three people have ever beaten this level under half budget and unbreaking. Join me on the journey to attempt to become the fourth ever person to do so. Oh, look at this build zone. What even is half budget? 32 and a half thousand? This is really interesting. I can't quite do a flat road. And how can I use this arch above to my advantage? Does this thing jump? No, it doesn't jump. I just need a regular bridge. I am wondering if I want to arch the roads. Just bring it right through here. Rope to here. And then I'll do like under supports. I want to see if a full ass tension bridge can work. Flip it, see if there's any merit. Well, let's try it out. I mean, the full tension don't quite work. The bridge is not happy. Let me see a stress. Oh, that's a little better. Oh, the rope on top broke. Yeah, because that's kind of carrying the whole thing. Understandable. What if I just go for two ropes then? And I'm going to have to shave, I know, but it is a pretty cool looking bridge. I'll figure it out. Oh yeah, people got it way cheaper, although I am almost top 100, so I guess I didn't do bad. All right, we're redesigning fully. Complete and utter redesign. I will try a lower road. Rope to like here and here, yes. And then this is gonna be more expensive, isn't it? Cheaper if it works. Yeah, that's a big if. I wonder if this could be more arched now. Yeah, that has a little bit of merit. So let's raise up these middle joints a touch more. What do you have to say for yourself? All right, so this design is more expensive, yes. But maybe it can be bettered? I wonder if I want to just do another arch. Is it better? Nah. This is one tough level. I'm gonna cheat. Let's see if any inspiration can come from the gallery. Nope. <laughs> Polybridge says no. Okay, no cheating today. The only other idea that does kind of intrigue me is the swing idea. Let me see something to know. If I don't have the road rope connect and I just kind of set this up, does this at least hold? It does hold. Now I do another rope complete with a road and then you swing it and surely it'll catch. Holy shit, what the fuck? That almost worked. Well, that was not what I expected to happen at all. I expected it to just be dumb and then move on. It probably still is, but it grabbed it for a little bit. How did this come so close? So it comes over, it just, what the fuck? The rope breaks is the one issue. I'm willing to settle for a breaking bridge here. I'd like to make it a little steeper, but then it'll probably donk. <gasps> oh, it is so close. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Lower the arch, lower the arch. Take it nice and slow and zoom in. See what I can do with this landing. It bumps the bridge, but then it lands. Back wheel lands, and then it's just driving. It's driving like normal, so it should be an issue, but then all of a sudden it just breaks right in here. Wait, maybe I could actually, on this side, do the idea where I have an under support, and the whole thing isn't tensioned. Just good chunks of it are. There's less stress here. <gasps> Oh, switching up the design worked. I want to shave. I want to shave before submitting. It's pretty good, though. I can't believe the rope swing design worked. Swing it. Let it go. Okay, a little cheaper. I want it to be my cheapest bridge. That's the goal. <laughs> maybe maybe I could end it on a jump. Yeah, it could be a swing and a jump this way. It's so close. Oh. Oh, okay. A hundred bucks to go. And then I'm back to my old budget. I've been tweaking a lot. Good news is I actually have a swing that doesn't break. I mean, it's a sick design. I don't think I'm ever gonna get half budget with it. I would definitely have to completely redesign, but it is fun. Okay, let me try one last stupid idea. I, I have this bridge saved. If the car just drive, 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 drives about here, I do something kind of equivalent. Does timing work out here? Maybe. It has to wedge itself in between the wheels. So, all right, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna start with a better bridge that includes wood muscles. Okay, that holds. Oh, it's, um, too good. <laughs> Interesting. Let me take one of these, flip it over here. It's a little, uh, expensivo. But is it really? Is it really expensivo? It's actually quite cheap. So now I need to figure out how do I get it off? Like at some point it's gotta get off the road. 
And right now, I don't see that happening. So I'm thinking like, you know, maybe an additional road, maybe to here? Like, if I could get the car to rotate forward or backwards... Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, man. Then it would fall off the rope. Another swing to knock it off? That's expensive. I'd prefer to have the bridge catch it. I think I just need to keep tweaking the swing. And then eventually, it will break and I'll be sad. But maybe there's a middle ground? And then it rotates off. Okay, maybe it gets off on its second pass through. <laughs> oh god, okay. <sighs> okay, annoyingly, I think I have to resort to steel though with the landing. The landing just is more cruel. Oh, wait a second. It was trying to drive. Did you see that? The wheels caught traction and then it like almost held back the swing. It's like I would need another road here. But I mean, now this bridge is really starting to be at its limits. <laughs> oh man, release thyself. I got like a weird catching ramp almost here. Oh, and if I could like get a wheel to snag on the other side, that'd be kind of interesting. Yeah, hold on, there's some interesting ideas here. I keep messing around with the general shape of things. Now, of course, I'll have to shave this if it works, but I'll just be able to get around by just shaving the right side. <gasps> Oh! Whoa, 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 Oh, boy. There's a lot going on here. Let me change up this connection real quick. See if that does anything. Because look at this. Look at it go. Look at it go. It's just hanging out until it breaks. So what I'm going to do is detach this, give it a chance to actually drive, and then probably reconstruct this whole thing so it can actually drive to the exit. All right, so we got to do really good budget shaving here. This is what it kind of all comes down to. Can I shave it? Well, first off, I need a pretty good foundation, and then I need a pretty good setup, and we'll try just that. That's really bad. So what I'm gonna do instead is just do more steel. Come on. That still snaps. All right, I need another steel, but now we're over budget. So, you know what? Let's just get it to work first. Get it to work first, and then we shave. Oh, but that's the problem. Okay, let's go back to the old design. Uh, this is just not a good hold. It's not a good hold. It's not a firm hold. Like the finest product, I just need a firm hold. Alright, bit more merit. Bit more, bit more, bit more. I can really see this coming too. It's just gonna be hella expensive. Do I need that rope? I don't. That's at least a little bit better. Like it's coming off and then snapping. Of course it is. Fine, I'll use a steel, and I'll think about it later. Come on. Okay, that's a pretty bad break, but it could be a steel. I think that's overall cheaper, actually. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes! Oh, a bad break, but a huge record for me. Where am I? I'm 13th. Other people got it this cheap, but I feel like this is doable now. I feel like this can be done. First off, can I move this road up at all? Does that help me save a little money? Because I think it's not all needed, but hopefully there's no crazy butterfly effect. Oh, that's fine. If anything, it's better. <laughs> Under 34,000, no breaks. It's gonna happen. We're gonna get half budget. This design has it. Now, how do I tweak this exactly? Maybe I go around here and then bring the wood to this, which is cheaper, but it is weaker. So let's see what happens. It doesn't matter. It works. It works. It breaks again, but I can fix that. That's 100% fixable. And top six. Well, let's see if I can kill two birds with one stone here, huh? Let's start with a... Moving up of this, and then moving up of wood. Seems weird, but it might be what this bridge needs. <laughs> it might not be. That's the beauty of it. You never really know. I was thinking I'd smooth out the roads a bit, though. Maybe the roads could support a bit more. And then I was hoping that would take some stress away from the under supports. Wow, if a steel is breaking, that's a hell of a sign. You gotta bring it down a little bit. <gasps> no, it's just a touch too slow. What if I tweak the road, maybe? Catching road? Does it still come out? It still comes out. Oh, it is faster. Faster is better. Okay, so I should lower a lot more roads. Bring this down. Bring this down. And I could go back to a wood. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, there is a limit. There is a limit. This has to be back up then. 
And then it frees itself and makes it out. There's $90 to go. Are you kidding me? 90 bucks. Bring up this. That's not... You know what? That's on half budget. Let's see how it goes. It looks workable. Let's turn off the stress visibility. Let's see if it goes. Nope. Okay, that's not it. Wait a second. Let me look at the stress. How's this rope doing? Could this be a wood rope? I think it could be. Oh, it looks like it got bad. I'm going to try anyway. Sometimes wood rope is stronger than you think. And that would be it if it holds. Come on. Oh, <gasps> yes. I can't believe it. Half budget. I didn't think that was possible. No breaks is a beautiful bridge. I can't believe the swing worked. All right, let's take a look at gallery. Apparently the $9,000 bridge is here. What? Oh, there is a break. Wow, wait. Oh, he did do the swing. The fact though of it being a wood rope, or no, no, this isn't wood rope. This is just multiple ropes that allow it to bend. Uh, good luck to Ben for editing this one. I had a lot of fun with this bridge and in general, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next time. Have a wonderful night and peace.